Girl, and today we're going to be making these fairy clips. So I'll show you how they work, and there's a butterfly fairy and a bat. So it goes like this. It's like the wings are flying. Click the thumbs up button if you like this video, and click the subscribe button down below to help me out. So hello, today we are going to be making um, with tiny little paper clip animals that flap. So as you see we have right here a little fairy. And we're going to make a couple different ones. These are really fun and they're really cute and just kind of use your imagination. You know, um, for us today we've got our little fairy, we're going to look at doing a butterfly. Um, and then we also have a bat, but you can make anything that flaps. Um, if you want to make a moth, if you want to do um, a dragonfly, uh, any of those type of things, um, just kind of let your imagination go. So we've got some cutout pieces. Um, we'll attach a PDF down below if you'd like to, to get a hold of some of these pieces where you can cut them out. Got a couple different clothespins, um, a pair of scissors, uh, tweezers, because some of these pieces are small. Um, now remember, I'm using very small paper clips or clothespins. So if you have the larger ones, um, obviously you can make larger creatures. Uh, so it's totally up to you. Um, and then we've got a glue gun. And of course, uh, make sure that kids, if you're you're doing this with your folks, you can also use regular glue. But if you are using a glue gun, I'm doing it just to make it a little bit quicker um, that the kids are using them with parents' help. Okay, so we're going to start off with the bat. It's a little bit easier. Um, I got a pair of tweezers here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these tweezers up with a part of the wing there, and we're going to do a hard fold or a 90 degree fold. Okay, and then for the other side. So make sure you got your right sides here. We're going to go the opposite direction. Okay, so we've got our folds. Um, and then of course you got your bat. So what we're going to do, and you could do this either way. I'm going to just kind of do it where it's out. So if a child is holding it and they're looking at you and they're flapping, it works kind of like this. Um, so we're going to attach our bat, but underneath of that, we've got to put our wings, okay? So, get a little bit of glue, and we're going to go right here, and what you want to do, you can use your tweezers, whatever, and get that down and in place, let it dry for a second, and we're going to do our other wing. I can hold on to it. Make sure our wings line up here. And then we're going to push the wings down just a little bit, and we're going to attach our bat. So with our bat, what we're going to do is you want to kind of find the center of this other just little square piece of paper here. And that part we're going to glue straight down to here. What I like to do is I will hold it in place and then I will actually crease this around the paper clip or clothespin. Clearly I like paper clips today. All right. And then what will happen is we're going to mark where this is when it's open because that's how it's going to flap down, okay? So slide this up a little bit so we can get it centered with our wings. And then it looks like, because we want it to pull the wing down, we want to put them out there a little bit, okay? So here again, we got our creases for the clothespin 
and then on the top up here, I like those a little bit off. Turn that just a little bit. Um, you can increase for your wings so it'll adhere to your wings. All right, so once again, I'm going to try to position this on the back of the clothespin, probably about here, because that's where it looks like our wings are going to be. Um, so we'll get that part attached. second to all right and then of course as this opens up you got to pull the wings down so kind of measure out it once it's open about where you feel like you need to be so um, if it helps you you can mark it or just kind of eye it as it's there so what I'm thinking is we need to go about here so when it's fully open it'll be ready or it'll it'll stretch it out so this is why I had those tweezers we're gonna have to curve the paper up and get it in place I do the same thing on the other side here We've got to re, re bend our wings because you kind of got the bat on the corner there. We're going to re get these back up, pull off all of our little glue strings here. Okay, and there you have it. You have a bat, and once you open it, our little bat is flying. So real, real simple, okay? Um, so now we'll do one more. We're gonna have a butterfly that's a little bit more intricate. Um, here again, you're gonna see me take my paper clips here and all I'm doing is creating something that I can fold against. So you got one wing. Here's our second wing. Um, this part right here is our body, so it's a little bit leaner. Um, we're going to now attach these, and I'm going to put these a little bit further in, but same concept. So run your bead of glue. And I forgot to move it up just a little bit. I'm just running a little bit of extra glue there to keep these attached. We're going to do the same thing on this one. And try to get it straight across from our other one. Pull that down for a second or two. And then we're going to do our center one here. 
or our body, if you will. Guess I didn't need to put glue all the way down, but so there you have our butterfly body. And then the same thing, what we want to do is kind of find your center for the back. And then we're going to run this one around right with those main beams there because we want to give it as much paper hold on to. And remember, we did these all fancy. If you want to do just simple solid wings, it'd probably be better. You'll be able to hide your... Um, pieces that you glue on the back of the wings. These you're obviously going to see, but um, Tiny wanted some really pretty butterfly wings. Of course, the sparkles, right? For all you moms out there, we know how it is with the sparkles. And then I'm going to bend those up. When we get these all the way down, it looks like our paper needs to set right about here, which is good because we have that little measuring gauge there. So once again, take your paper, flip this back, so we have like a flat edge there, and then we want to kind of curve this. that dry for a second. Same thing on this side. We take our little flap, bend this back. And just so you guys know what I'm doing, I'm trying to create this paper to create or to bend. So if you notice when I did the other one, I kind of kept my finger in there. That's just kind of rounding it because this is a cardstock paper, so it is a little bit thicker. Um, so she likes to throw a little bit of a fit. So when you're coming around, see how I've got my one finger in here to kind of guide that. And then so once we glue it, I'll put my finger on the other side just to kind of hold it till it's flat. So we've got, oops, that's a whole lot of glue. Um, and then we're gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna put my finger on this side just to hold it in there. But be careful, don't want you to be a burn. And once again, you're gonna let that one dry or harden whichever way you want to put it. Um, you can kind of, if you want to, take a pair of scissors and cut it off. I'm just going to leave mine. Um, I don't think it detracts from it all that much. Um, so here again, we got everything dry. And when you open it, you get this beautiful butterfly. So thanks for joining me in Tiny and hope you guys have fun. Um, attach your pictures or send us pictures of any kind of creative ones that you've done. Um, and thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this video with me and Mommy. Click the links down below to get your, your templates and get your supplies. Bye!